this is an addendum video to my recent video on how to put on the stainless steel slide skis. I uh, forgot to put on the vertical screws to hold the slides in, uh, additional holding power on the, on the metal slides. And so this procedure show how to do that. It take you about two minutes per slide additional. You have to get some, uh, some, some wood screws. I'll show you the wood screws that I found locally at the Lowe's uh, hard home improvement store. You can find these pretty much anywhere, I think. Uh, big box home improvement store. And I'll show you a couple of things to watch for um, that's particular to the metal slides, but also may uh, be applicable for your, your plastic slide, slide skis as well. Okay, you can see I've already got this, this ski is replaced. This is the stainless steel one. What I forgot to do was put some screws on the vertical edge of the, of the stainless steel slide. So this is, would be the horizontal edge. It's on the underside of the flooring of the slide out. This is the side of the slide out here, the outside. This is the little metal trim bar here. And these pre-drilled hold, holes come in. So you can see a little bit about three quarters of an inch of the vertical side of the slide ski right here. So what I forgot to do was put some screws on the vertical edge. So real simple, I would highly recommend doing this after you get this put up or either after you've got it dry fitted because you don't exactly know where you need to drill these holes until you get this piece of, um, this trim piece of metal back on. You may have more or less here and you don't wanna have your screws in a bad hole. So the way I did it with actually forgetting to do it the first time probably worked out to the best. So I've already done one of these and, and so I know what my measurements are. But per Mitch, again, the brainchild of these, these slide skis, he recommends putting four vertical screws, at least four, in, into, the, into the side. So what I did, I measured from the, from the edge here, from the outside edge over here, and I put a screw every, every eight inches. So get your handy dandy tape measure out, get your magic marker. Hopefully you can see that. And we're just going to come over eight inches, make a mark from that mark, come over eight inches, make a mark, eight inches, make a mark, and then eight inches and make a mark. All right, now we'll take a punch and a hammer, a little pin punch and a hammer, and just come right here and come up uh, uh, and maybe a third of the way down from your slide ski i mean where the bar is on top and just put your little dimple to keep your drill bit from rolling around all right now i'm and that works out to be i think this is a 5 30 second drill bit which is just a little bit bigger round than the screw itself. So we're just going to drill holes here. The only thing we're doing with this big drill, bigger drill bit is just drilling a hole through the metal. Don't go all the way in the wood. You just want to break the surface of the metal. And we'll go ahead and do all four of these. Okay, so that's got us a hole drilled through the metal. Now we're going to take a smaller drill bit. I think this is a 560 force. And now we want to drill into that hole. So we're drilling a pilot hole into the wood to keep from splitting it. And you want to make sure when you're doing this that your drill is going straight in. You don't want it going up at an angle or down. Just have your drill going perpendicular with the, with the floor. I'm sorry, that would be perpendicular with the wall parallel with the floor, straight in. There we go. 
right now we'll put a number two Phillips tip in and set your chuck on this because you don't want to strip it out. Go in pretty slow. And when you feel it grab, just stop. There's no need to keep cranking down on it. There we go. So put your four screws, um, depending on how wide your your slide is, space them out pretty evenly. Th this slide here was the, the wider one, so I was able to get to go about eight inches. On our kitchen slide, it's gonna be smaller, so I may have to go like the five or six inches on it, but still you want to put four of these, at least four of these in here. These are the screws I use for the vertical, to put into the vertical part of the slide. They're, they're wood, lattice screws, stainless steel, number nine by one and a half inches. You can see what it looked like. They've got a, a number two Robertson square head on them. They're, the head on them is gray, so they blend in pretty good. And they kind of got a self-starter tip on it. You can see that right there. And they got a good aggressive wood biting thread. So I uh, found these at Lowe's. You can probably get them at Home Depot, uh, Menards, or any Ace Hardware store like that. But this is just the size they come in, uh, standard number nine by one and a half inches. There you go. Hopefully that helps. Now what these, these screws here do is they help keep this slide ski, if your adhesive, construction adhesive that's under here fails, over time, it keeps the slide ski from coming out or, or, or coming down and damaging your flooring on the inside or damaging your wall or something or another. It's just additional insurance here. Now, your, your metal bar here and these screws are absolutely helping doing some holding to keep it together. But these additional screws here is additional insurance and you want that with these metal skis because if they've the construction of he's that fails they're not going to break like a plastic ski wheel they are going to do some serious damage if they get get out of place so i'm going to show you one more thing you need to check which i run into small small issue i'll show you one more thing on the inside okay we're on the inside now this is the this this is our dinette slide call it the dinette slide where the recliners and everything are just flip it up. So this is the same slide ski that I was just working on putting the additional four screws on. You can see there's a pretty good gap from where the slide ski is to where the actual flooring goes. You can see this flooring has got a little black border around it. That's that undercoating they put on it. But there's a good heavy quarter of an inch. It may be as much as three eighths inch from the slide ski itself, the vertical edge, until it gets to the, the OSB flooring. Now, this one is a lot wider than any of the other ones in, in, in the RV. And the reason is, it's because of the way this slide, the slide wall was made. It's a, a little bit off. If you remember in my original video of, of the original installation, I, I, I had an issue with this slide. I had to do some work around. It took me a lot longer to deal with it than it did the kitchen slide. And this is the one of the reasons why, because the way the wall was put together, it's a little bit sticking out too much this shouldn't matter in the way your slide skis function one thing to keep in mind wherever there's a slide ski there's going to be this this little piece of i don't know a, a, os oh, i'm sorry um abs plastic teflon whatever this stuff is made out of this little i don't know it's about an eight by two inch wear bar. This is called a slide wear, W-E-A-R, wear bar. And they're gonna be wherever the slide skis are. And there's usually, depending on how long your slide is, there may be a couple additional ones in the middle. Uh, you can see there's one right there. That's about halfway between. Now, you absolutely want to make sure that the, the, the metal slide ski is riding fully 
on this wear bar. This one here originally, the edge of the wear bar was sitting about right here. And even with the plastic ski, it was never completely on it. And what would happen if, if that wear bar is not completely under, or, or rather the, the slide metal slide ski is not completely riding on the wear bar as it comes in and out, and that wear bar is a little bit off, off edge, they'll eventually get a groove in that in that slide ski and it, it potentially could cause it to fail just because of the weight of the slide coming in and out and it's on that edge right here and it's going to have a, a, a spot that it could it's going to hang over so to speak so you may have to take these up and reposition them on ours there's two screws there's two, uh, two uh, pretty long pretty heavy duty number two robertson heads square head screws right here there's one here and one here and you can see they're recessed and you just take your drill screw them up move it over until your 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 wear bar is completely outside of your of your slide ski and screw them back down there is if you'll see part of the wear bar kind of goes over this metal bar here it goes over the top that keeps the, the metal bar down this metal bar has got a break in it and that's what helps the slide kind of pop up as it's coming in, or rather pop up as it's coming in and drop down into the hole with these flush slides. So keep that in mind um, when you're doing it. And you'll see here, there's another one of these bars right here. And, and you can go as close as, as touching that, but you don't want to go beyond it. It depends on how your slide is put together. Um, this is an Alliance paradigm. And I think all of the alliances are put together like this. And it's got the flush floor. Flush floor means there's no lip on the floor. It's just floor and floor. The vinyl is hang over here. Some slide outs have got a little one inch or, or so, and they come straight in. The way these alliances work, they come in and they go up and over. And when they when you when you retract them, they kind of fall in to make it flush. Now, just in comparison, we'll walk to the other end of this slide. And you can see here, it's a lot closer here on this, where this slide ski is getting to the, the OSB. And I had to move this wear bar as well. But you see this wear bar is a good inch and a half or so from, from this bar, whereas the other one was maybe an eighth of an inch. But I'm still, the way this slide ski comes in, it's still going to be completely on top and not hanging over on this wear bar here. So do keep that in mind. It's just it's going to depend on how your application is on your particular slide. So hopefully this video helps um, to, to wrap up everything nice and neat. And again, my apologies for not including this on the first video and forcing you to watch a second video, a part two addendum on completing your metal uh, stainless steel slide ski replacements. Hopefully this helps. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later.